to our Inside the Issues special hour tonight. Much of Congress prefers to ignore the threat from China. They focus their intention instead on Russia, a country with an economy the size basically of Texas that can't build a working escalator. Meanwhile, China is rapidly gaining on us economically, technologically, militarily. One of China's chief means of catching up and surpassing the United States is by stealing American intellectual property. The scale of that theft is awe-inspiring. Some estimate it is worth hundreds of billions of dollars a year. Florida Senator Marco Rubio says it is time to stop this and it's time to start with trade restrictions on China in retaliation for it. We spoke to Senator Rubio recently about that. Here's how it went. Give us a quick overview of the scale of the theft and then tell us your solution. It's so massive. It's almost like a game of whack-a-mole trying to keep up with it. They use all kinds of tools, just straight out theft or companies doing business in China. You're required to partner with a Chinese company and then they make you give you give them the technology. And once they figure out how to do it themselves, because they took it from you, they kick you out. They don't need you anymore. They come to the U.S. They embed students in our universities for purposes of, of stealing information and bringing it back. Or they just come out and hire American researchers, pay them four times as much to take the research that they're doing oftentimes paid you know by the American taxpayer at the ground level to start it and take it over there to them so it's just I mean I could go on and on for hours but it is a constant yes. and massive unprecedented effort to transfer the intellectual th uh, wealth of this country uh, to surpass us it, it's not clear to me why so few in the Congress in the Senate where you serve seem even aware of this and even fewer are willing to do anything about it why is that well, there's a couple things here. The first is you've got these big American corporations who are doing business over there, and they see it as a place where they can sell things to 1.4 billion people. So for them, as long as they can keep making money over there, they're not that concerned about the long term. They want good quarterly returns. By the time this stuff matters, most of those CEOs will, right. will be gone. They'll be retired. Part of it is that. Part of it Great is it's point. just hard to believe. You know, just it's hard to believe that this is happening. People think it's exaggerated. Just in the last year, have we started to see more and more people up here begin to take it seriously? but and it's almost too late uh, but but we still I believe have time to kind of get this right so how would you respond well, we've offered a bill that does a couple things. First of all, it would prohibit the transfer of any technologies, whether it's through a partnership over there or selling it to them from here, of any of the key technologies that China is targeting under a thing called China, Made in China 2025. It's basically their blueprint to dominate the world of artificial intelligence, biomedicine, and the like. We shouldn't be transferring any technology. That, that's at the core of this fight with ZTE, by the way. It's a small company compared to Huawei. Huawei's an even bigger problem, which is their big telecom, and we need to be so that's the primary thing we would do is just say you cannot sell or transfer any technology with them or joint partner with them and transfer technology. That would be the first step because a lot of the stuff right now is, is being willingly given over to them and uh, well under coercion obviously but, but it's just happening in the open. That seems like a wise first step. Senator, Godspeed. We're rooting for you on that. Thank you very much. Thanks for paying attention to this. Thank you. Suicide rates for young people in this country are rising very 